Hey, I'm Jamie Franks. I'm just going to make a quick video about slings. So I've gotten a lot of questions about slings recently, how to set up the sling, which type of sling is best, how do I have it set up on my gun. So I'm going to make this quick video, hopefully it's quick, um, to show you the two most common types of slings, which are the single point sling, the two point sling, the advantages and disadvantages of both, the way I have my sling set up and why, how to set the gun up for the sling properly, all that good stuff. Right now, I'm just in a t-shirt, so sling's not that big of a problem, nothing for it to get hung up on. So uh, before we go any further, I'm gonna go change into full kit, because if you can work your sling in full kit, then it won't be an issue any other time. So just to illustrate my point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get in my full tactical gear. All right, so now I'm in my tactical gear, and the reason I'm in this is if I can make my sling work for me with all this crap on me, you should have no reason, no excuse why you can't make your sling run for you if you're in any less than this. So before we go into specifics about my sling and how I have it set up, let's just talk in general about the four things that you want your sling to be able to do for you. No matter what sling you're running, no matter how you have it set up, there are four things that you want to be able to do. And the first thing should be obvious, you need to be able to shoot and move. You need to be able to shoot from a high ready, shoot from a low ready, shoot from a high port, be able to go to a high port and move, be able to be at that low carry and have the gun nice and comfortable and come up and shoot. But you need to be able to shoot and you need to be able to move without messing with your sling too much. Second thing, you need to be able to do bang, 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 a reload. Come up, pop that reload. And my sling did not hang me up a single time. My sling was nice and out of the way. I was able to access the mag well and execute that good reload. Third thing you want to be able to do, you're shooting and you want to be able to transition to your secondary without your rifle getting in the way and without it banging you in the no-no place or any of that kind of stuff, right? So that's the third thing is transitioning to your secondary. And the last thing, this is what really validates your sling setup. This is what really separates the men from the boys is if I'm shooting and now I need to cover a threat to my right side or a doorway or something like that, I need to be able to switch the gun over to my left side without the sling hanging me up, choking me out, right? I'll show you that again. So I'm shooting from my right side. I need to be able to transition over to my weak side shoulder, nice and easy, without the sling hanging me up, and then transition back without touching the sling, right? Doing all of that without touching the sling is crucial. So if you can do all four of those things, then your sling setup is probably pretty good, and it's probably gonna work for you. But get out there, run your gear, run your gun, and make sure it works with all four of those fundamentals. So. Now, with that being said, let's talk about two-point slings, which is what I have the gun set up for right now. So, two-point sling, I think, is the most beneficial under most situations most of the time, all right? It, you can use the sling for support, like old-school marksmanship if you're trying to make that good long-distance shot. You can do all four of the things I already demonstrated with the sling on the rifle. Uh, if you need to put the rifle around your back, because you need to do something with your hands, you can get the rifle on your back. There we go. Get the rifle on your back. Now I can lean over, I can do things with my hands, I can free up both of my hands, and then I can bring the rifle back around without much trouble in all this gear. All right, and get the gun back around, back up. I run a retention device on my belt specifically for retaining the rifle, so I don't have to put it all the way over on my back. I can just retain it this way do things with my hands, and if I need to get my rifle back up, it's back up. So that's what I do. But uh, two-point slings offer you a lot of versatility. It carries the weight of the rifle for you, which again, if you're out there doing tactical training or you know, out on patrol or anything like that where you're gonna have to be supporting the weight of this rifle all day long, you're gonna want that two-point sling to be able to take the weight of the rifle for you. I can take my hands off and my rifle's still right here, right, under my control and ready to come up and shoot. So that's why I mostly prefer a two-point sling. If somebody asks me which sling to buy, that's usually what I tell them to is a good two-point sling. Um, how I have my gun set up specifically, I have my gun set up with on the outside of the stock here, and that's specifically for that transition over to my weak side so that it doesn't hang me up. That's a pro tip. And then a lot of guns come, a lot of handguards I should say, come with a sling mount back here and that's great if you haven't put much thought into it and you just want to put it right there it'll probably work for you but I like to space mine out about seven or eight inches up from that specifically for when we're talking about that reload so now my sling is out of the way and out of the way of my magwell for that reload right 
if it's back here, sometimes the sling hangs in the way and you can catch yourself up like that. So that's the way I like to have my sling set up as far as, as how I mount it to the gun and where. Um, the actual specific sling that I recommend, what I'm using right here is the VTAC sling. Uh, you don't have to use the VTAC sling. This is the sling I've been running with for about 12 years and I love everything about it. It's good quality, it's strong, it does everything I need it to do. Uh, it's comfortable, that's why I like the pad so it doesn't rub on my neck all day long when I'm out doing stuff, when I'm out you know, on patrol or teaching a class or, or doing tactical training or anything like that. It doesn't rub up the back of my neck. It does everything I need it to do. But you don't have to buy this one. Uh, I do recommend buying something that's high quality like uh, Larry Vickers has a sling. Uh, the Redback One sling I actually like a lot. I think Kyle Lamb has a sling. Um, I don't have any affiliation with VTAC. I just like this sling because I've been running it for so long and it's just been a great sling. And uh, I wish I had an affiliation with VTAC because then I could get them for cheaper and I'd put one on every gun that I have. But uh, I just love this sling, but I have to pay full price for it just like everybody else. But uh, that's the two point sling I like. That's how it's set up. Now let's talk about single point slings, right? Because single point sling is your other most common type of sling. Take this off. So single point slings are all right. I do run a single point sling sometimes. When I worked with Navy EOD and Naval Special Warfare, that's what those guys like to run. And so I just kind of did what they did and it worked well most of the time. When I was in Afghanistan, most of everything we were doing, we were constantly in and out of vehicles or getting on and off the helicopter. It's real easy to get hung up getting in and out of vehicles. So that single point sling was good. And when you're riding in the vehicle, you're not really supporting the weight of the rifle anyway. It's kind of sitting on your lap. So it's no issue. Um, I do have all of my rifles set up for the two-point sling and also on the single-point sling. Here I have the Law Tactical folder, but you can see on my end plate right here, this is where I suggest you attach your single-point sling if you're going to run a single-point sling. But you're going to validate it in the same ways. Also from my time with Navy EOD and Naval Special Warfare, I have my single-point sling that's actually still integrated into my plate carrier. So if I do want to run a single-point sling, I can just pop it on right there and I can do all four of those things. I can shoot, I can conduct that reload, just right here, it stays out of the way. I can easily transition to my weak side, no problem with the single point sling, so no issues there. But then your transition to your secondary weapon, that's where the sling can kind of cause a problem if you're running a single point sling, because I transition, I come up, and sometimes the sling wants to bounce around, sometimes it wants to hit you in the ding dong, all that kind of stuff. So. That's the one thing you want to be careful of when you're running that single point sling is getting it out of the way when you do your transition, but see how it just bounced back? Sometimes that can be a problem. Also, when you're running a single point sling, this is about the best you can do unless you have that retention device that I showed earlier. Because if I'm using both hands or if I'm bending over, the rifle wants to swing around and bounce around and jump around. And if you have to hold this weapon all day long, you're pretty much going to have to hold it because a single point sling doesn't really do much to hold the weight of the rifle for you. You're constantly gonna have to put your hands on this rifle and constantly be carrying it. So that can be kind of fatiguing if you're out there doing tactical training or running your kit, or if you need a sling for work. But uh, single point sling, I don't hate it. It's just not my number one choice. It's not my preference. I do prefer that good two point sling that's properly set up. So that's it. Um, again, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but at a minimum, you do need to be able to do those four things. And if you can do those four things, then uh, then you can pretty much rest assured that your sling's doing its job and your sling's gonna work for you when you need it to. So I'm Jamie Franks and thanks for watching.